My name is Aliciana Lipsy, and I am in the 10th grade at Western School of Technology and Environmental Science. My name is Timothy Brewer, and I'm in the 11th grade at, a com at Connections, a community-based art school. Hi, my name is Imani Gross, and I'm also in 10th grade at Western School of Technology and Environmental Science. We are the Life Flight and Power Project, bringing to you the Bird's Eye View podcast. This is a collaborative youth-led group from both the county and city side of Baltimore, with the intention to inform, reform, and improve inner city communities all around us. The Bird's Eye View podcast focuses on highlighting inner city communities' issues, people and events from a usual perspective. With this podcast, we hope to provide a platform that can speak on the things that often go overlooked in our communities. With this, we plan to work with personal and people right here in our neighborhoods to then reform and fix these problems. By advocating and exposing our people to new responsibilities and teaching our community as well as everyone else around us. These numbers represent some of the leading issues that young people face within inner city communities. With Bird's Eye View, we intend to address the unaddressed, highlight the overlooked, and raise awareness on these issues. Through this project, we hope to change the success trajectory of our youth by lowering the incarceration rate, increasing the number of proficient readers, bettering the access and knowledge of adequate health care, and all in all, lowering these piercing numbers for the better. Awareness and comprehension are the first steps to progress, and that is what Bird's Eye View intends to give back to the community. In order to keep our podcast growing and flourishing, we plan to do several things. Through investments and partnerships with organizations as well as high-profile personnel, we will have the support and connections that we need. We also plan to feature these people on our podcast. Through marketing, branding, endorsements, as well as public platforms, we will be able to expand our network as well as increase the chances of everyone hearing and participating in it. Fundraising will raise awareness as well as money to execute the plans that we have for this community. This can range anywhere from giveaways to raffles and much more. Of course, all of this wouldn't mean anything without a plan of action. Talking about it is not enough, which is why after informing and covering the issues, we plan to help reform our community. This includes developing programs, expanding available resources, analyzing and finding ways to improve our environment, as well as educating to inspire others to do the same. Here is the budget needed to start and support our podcast. This will allow for a high-functioning community interactive thriving podcast. $12,410 will fund production, branding, and equipment needed. $2,590 will fund the hosting and equipment needed for community events, such as how-to segments, which allows us to teach people how to do essential and important things they might not otherwise know, as well as many more community interactive hands-on experiences. We are asking for the full $15,000 amount. 